Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. MIA this last past week. I didn't post a video on Tuesday or Thursday and I hadn't been shooting any content so that I can post my weekly what did I wear videos on Sunday. But I hope that today's video will make up for my absence. I do have a huge surprise for you in today's video and I am so excited to share it with you. So if you would like to see what that surprise is, please keep watching. So guys, if you haven't quite guessed yet what today's video is going to be about, I do have a, another orange box here behind me. And I did an unboxing on my channel a couple of weeks ago from this company called Babala Bags who reached out to me and gifted me a handbag to share with you on my channel. And I revealed the Hermes Birkin in the size 25. In that video when I was reviewing the bag, I did say that the bag appeared to be a little bit bigger on camera than it was in real life. And I just talked about how I wish it was just a little bit bigger and I did wear the bag one time. I took it with me to the movies to go and see Bad Boys 4. And I used it to put my drinks and snacks in the bag because, yeah, we don't buy snacks and drinks at the movies. We just bring our own. And I just thought it was a little bit too small. My snacks were just bulging out of the bag. And I reached out to Babala to ask if they were willing to send me the bag in a size 30 so I could do a size comparison video for you all just so that you wouldn't make the same mistake that I did if you indeed wanted to get a bigger size bag. And they were kind enough to send me the bag in a size 30 and so they did give me the option of choosing a different color bag if I wanted to but I decided to get the same color bag in the bigger size and then do a giveaway to one of my lovely subscribers just to show my appreciation for all of your support. So make sure you watch to the end of this video and check the description box below to get all of the details of how you can enter into this giveaway. So let's go ahead and jump into this bag comparison. So we're just going to do a quick overview of the handbag. This is the handbag that I originally unboxed on my channel. This this is the Hermes Birkin in the size 25. So here are your handles, your clochette with the lock, the feet on the bottom, and this is what it looks like in the back. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the perfect size handbag if we were going to brunch, drinks, or dinner because I will only have had my essentials in the handbag like a card holder, my keys, lip gloss, hand lotion, hand sanitizer, things like that. It would be perfect for that. I think this is a really, really lovely bag. She is so cute and I think it would be better suited for me in like a fun color. This color for me is more like an everyday handbag color or a work bag color. So I would prefer to have it in the bigger size 30. But if it was in a fun color or even a lighter color, I think that would be the appropriate color for this size of bag for me and my preference. So that is the size 25. Let's look at the size 30. So this is the size 30. You can already see how big the handles are. See what it looks like on the front. You can tell that this is a little bit bigger. Your straps are going to be a lot longer. This is what it looks like in the back. And then you have your feet on the bottom. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just massive on the inside. So I definitely would have been able to carry all of my handbag essentials in this bag as well as my snacks and not worry about it bulging too much out of the top. So this is the size 30. Measurement wise the width is going to be obviously 30 centimeters and then the height is going to be around 22 centimeters whereas the size 25 is going to be 25 centimeters across and about 18 centimeters high. So those are the measurements. And let's just take a look at them side by side. So now you can definitely see the difference in size when I put them side by side. So this is like the big sister and this is the little sister. So there you have the size reference with them side by side. And then on the side, this one is a lot wider than this one. This is what it looks like in the back and back to the front. So that's the size comparison when you put them side by side. 
So when you look at the handles on the size 25, you can see that it will fit on my wrist, but that is as far as it's going to go. I'm not going to be able to put this in the crook of my arm and I have no wiggle room whatsoever with it on my wrist. And that is the size 25. And then I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it off. But with the size 30, my wrist goes in perfectly. I have plenty of room. I can even move it up to the crook of my arm and it fits comfortably there. And I don't have any issues with sliding it off the wrist. So this is going to be perfect when I'm just in the store shopping and I quickly need to be hands free. I can just throw it on my wrist and do whatever it is that I need to do. So that was the main concern that I had about the bag that I wasn't able to comfortably wear it on the crook of my arm. And now that I have the size 30, I am able to do so. So those are some of the things that I noticed immediately upon unboxing this handbag. So let's go ahead and take a look again at what fits in the 25 and then what can fit in the size 30. So let me go and grab a few things. Okay, so I'm back with my handbag essentials. We're gonna sit it right here and we'll grab the 25 and go ahead and start putting things inside of it. So we're going to start with the toiletry 19, our Sarah wallet, Victorine wallet, Toiletry 15, card holder, and our six ring key holder. And again, I wouldn't carry all of those in this handbag. I would probably switch out two of the wallets and just take the card holder. Or maybe I would take just the compact wallet. And then I wouldn't take the toiletry 19. I would probably just do the toiletry 15. But this is what all of the items look like inside of the handbag. And I could put my phone at the top and then that would probably be it. So those are all of the things that could fit inside of the 25. I also have a notebook. And then I have my MacBook Air. And this is just an external hard drive. So let's see if I can fit my MacBook Air inside of the 25. So I'll try to pick it up and do this on camera. So just sliding it in. So if you angle it correctly, you can definitely get it in. And then it's a notebook. And I'm going to slide it right in the back right here so the notebook went in fine but and then that's all that i can carry in the bag i could probably slide my car holder inside of here or put it in with the zipper pocket but that's it and then you see how my macbook is just poking out it's not going to fit let's move on and see what fits in the size 30. so for the size 30 this is your perfect everyday bag like you can take this handbag to work you can carry it to run errands like anything that you need to do and you need to carry everything this is going to be the bag for you so let's see how many of my handbag essentials could fit in here we're going to start with the toiletry 19 it fits perfectly we have the sarah wallet perfect toiletry 15 victorina wallet card holder six ring key holder perfect everything that i put in the 25 fits in the 30 perfectly and look how much room i have in the top of the bag and I still have plenty of room to add stuff if I needed to. So that's everything that fits inside of the 30. It's not too heavy. It is perfect. And again, I wouldn't carry two wallets and a car holder as well as two toiletry bags. So that still opens up a lot more room if I wanted to remove those items and carry some other things. So that just goes to show you how much you could fit inside this bag. Now let's see if our MacBook could fit. Now we're going to see if our notebook can fit inside of it fits perfectly and then our macbook fits perfectly now you can see that the macbook doesn't poke out as much as it did when it was in the 25 i'm able to carry the handbag comfortably by the handle it is a little heavy again if you're carrying this as a work bag you can expect for it to be a little bit heavy because you're going to carry more things than you would just an everyday bag so those are all of the things that can fit in the birkin 30 and now i'm going to do a couple of mod shots before we get into all of the details for you to join the giveaway so here are the two handbags side by side we have the 25 and then 
we have the 30. So this is what they're going to look side by side. And then this is what they're going to look like on the crook of the arm and on the wrist. So this is the 25 on the wrist. This is the 30 on the crook of the arm. And here is a, another close up of the two bags side by side. So guys, that is my comparison of these two bags in the 25 and the 30. I hope that it made sense and you were able to see some of the differences between the two bags. Again, the 25 is a gorgeous bag. It is a beautiful bag and I would definitely get it in this size. But again, I would get it for a either lighter color or a fun color. And I would use it for something like drinks, brunch, or dinner. But for an everyday bag or a bag that I would want to carry into the office, I would definitely go up to the size 30s. So those are my thoughts on the Hermes Birkin in the 25 and the 30. Let's get to this giveaway. Once again, I am just so grateful to Babalive for giving me the opportunity to have both of these bags so that I could give one of my subscribers. So this beautiful handbag will be wrapped in all of the original packaging that Babalive sent it in. You will get the box and everything and you will get the entire luxury experience when you unbox this bag. Like I said, I've only carried it once so it is in pristine condition. So let's get into the details of this giveaway. Number one, you must be a U.S. resident or have a U.S mailing address in order to enter this giveaway unfortunately i will not be able to ship anything internationally at the moment number two obviously you must be subscribed to my youtube channel and then you must like this video and then comment giveaway down below just so that i know that you are entering into this giveaway and that is the main entry into the giveaway now if you would like to have additional entries into the giveaway you can also follow me on instagram and tiktok as well as like and comment the giveaway on that giveaway post so you have up to three ways to enter into the giveaway but the number one way is through youtube by subscribing liking the video and leaving the word giveaway down in the comment section below now i'm thinking that i will leave this giveaway open for about three weeks because we do have the holiday coming up and I want to give people enough time to view the video. This giveaway is going to open on Sunday June 23rd and then it will close on Sunday July 14th at midnight and then we'll pick a winner sometime that following week and I will be using a website where I will enter in all of the entries and it will randomly pick a winner. I don't know how I want to do that quite yet. I don't know if I want to go live and pick a winner or if I want to do a video and announce the winner i'm not quite sure how that's going to work out yet maybe i'll do a poll or something as we get closer to the deadline and you guys let me know your feedback of how you think it should go but babala thank you again for gifting me this bag and giving me the opportunity to do this video so and i'm wishing you all the best of luck so i will see you in the next one bye